Hi. <laughs> Do you double dog dare me? Do you triple dog dare me to put my tongue on this flagpole? It's dark cold here in Lincoln, Lincoln City, but not too cold to get out and enjoy yourself this weekend at our top five. So number one on my top five this week is the performance of A Christmas Story, which is the adaptation of the Gene Shepard movie from 1983. The Porthole Players are taking it to Yaw Huts this weekend for a Saturday and a Sunday performance. Then the weekend after that, the 19th and 20th, it's going to be in Lincoln City. It's going to be really fun. You should go. Number two on my top five this week is the Santa sing-along in Rockaway Beach. This is a wonderful tradition where we all get together and sing carols at the Rockaway Wayside. And that's on Friday night, the 11th. And I think it starts at about 6 o'clock. You have to check the Oregon Coast today for details. Number three on the top five this week is the Alcee Bay Bridge Walk. It starts at around 4.30 on Saturday at the Alcee Bay Interpretive Center. This week is the Toledo Hometown Festival. It takes place all day in downtown Toledo on Saturday the 12th. Last on the top five this week is the Progressive Dinner. It's a fundraiser, actually a food raiser, for the Lincoln City Food Pantry. It takes place on Sunday at four different hotels in the Lincoln City area. They'll all be offering food. I think Chinook Winds is first, then you go to uh, Coho, and then Odysseus, and then you end up at the, the Starfish Manor. <laughs> and, uh, and that's going to be on Sunday, the 13th. Last of my top five this week is the Progressive Dinner. It takes place on Sunday in Lincoln City. Four different hotel properties, Chinook Winds, Odysseus, Starfish Manor, and Cobo are all getting together to raise uh, food for the Lincoln City Food Pantry. You bring a donation and you get uh, one of uh, four different items as you go through the, all the hotels. It's going to be great. It'll be a pause that refreshes. Learn more at OregonCoastToday.com. Learn more at OregonCoastToday.com.